welcome to season two of the Fit to Love podcast show. and all about you. Enjoy the show. Today's show brought to you by Fit to Love, how to get physically, emotionally, and spiritually fit to attract the love of your life. Visit fittolove.tv forward slash ebook to download your copy today. Today's show, gourmet chicken salad. Now, there's an even more gourmet way to do this that I'm going to tell you about before I go ahead with this. It's all the same ingredients, minus today I'm going to be using canned chicken. I don't normally use canned chicken, but as you can see, I'm in not my own kitchen. And I would prefer that you take chicken breasts, organic chicken breasts, put them in a crock pot, and let them sit for six to eight hours, and then do pulled chicken like we did on a previous episode. When you make the pulled chicken, you let it cool down, and then you use that pulled chicken in this recipe. That is the best way to do this. This is the fast way, okay? So if you really want the best gourmet chicken, do it that way. If you're in a rush and you wanna try my recipe, then obviously do what we're doing today. So I'm using two cans of chunk white chicken, and I'm going to add the first part that's gourmet is I'm gonna add some raw walnuts. And these are kind of big pieces. Don't put them in as big pieces. I'm gonna actually grind it in my magic bullet and grind it down a little bit so that it's a little more fine. Okay, so we don't want it to be meal. You don't want it to be like almond flour where it's really, really, so that's good. So we're gonna pour that um, walnut mixture into the bowl and again, uh, do it sparingly. I would say I had about a fourth of a cup of walnuts in here to two cans of chicken salad. All right, next ingredient is going to be dried cranberries. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in probably what is about mm, three fourths of a cup of dried cranberries. It's not quite a cup. And then just with the dry ingredients, I'm gonna mix that around and cover the chicken with the cranberries and the walnuts. Okay, our next ingredient is going to be cilantro and of course fresh is always better and I've got a nice big hunk of fresh cilantro in here cut that up and again I would also just recommend you do it to taste I love cilantro I think it's so amazing it's a great detoxifying herb but I just love the taste of it and on a past show we did authentic guacamole so you know that it's a very serious thing like it needs cilantro is important for things like guacamole, and it is for this as well. But again, if you don't like cilantro, of course, take it out. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit of fresh black pepper, as always. And again, like in all shows, salt and pepper to taste. And with any ingredient that you're a little iffy about, do it to taste. Part of cooking is, besides getting in touch with your food, it's so important that you actually have a connection with your food because it helps you to eat less. It helps you to feel satisfied faster. It helps you to break down and metabolize your food better because you're in a calmer, more mindful state. So when you can cook something, do it. Even if it's not every day, even if it's not three times a day, even if it's once a week, cook. But when you think of cooking, don't think so linearly in terms of having to follow everything so exact. A kitchen is a creative place to express yourself and to play and to try things. So that's why you'll never see me give you all exact ingredients. I'll give them to you as suggestions, but I mean, I change literally every recipe I ever get because I do it to my taste. And so I invite you to play with that. We're not making anything so like intricate that one little difference of the ingredient is gonna make, you know, ruin it, minus the salt, if you don't like salt. And then lastly, of course, we're gonna use our homemade mayonnaise. If you haven't seen that episode, definitely check it out. The reason why it's yellow is because we used a palm oil, which is really high in antioxidants. It's a really great oil. And it's mixed in here with some other oils, but you can make your own homemade mayonnaise without that oil and it would look white, just like what you would buy in the store, but be much healthier. So when it always comes to mayonnaise, you're gonna add however much you need to in order to make it as wet as you like it. So I'm gonna start off with three big heaping tablespoons, and then I'm just gonna mix from there and see how it goes. I'm a big fan of after you make any salad, so to date we've made tuna salad, 
egg salad and chicken salad and I think they all taste better chilled so while you're tasting it just to see what you like in it make sure you put it in the refrigerator for a little while because it's gonna the, the flavors are going to seep in into the seep into the fish and the meat and to the eggs and you're gonna get a more more of a full flavor once it's been sitting there for a little while all right, so once you get it to the wetness that you like it, go ahead and give it a taste. And if you want to add more walnuts or more cranberries or more cilantro or more pepper, I didn't add garlic powder to this. Um, I probably would if I was in my own kitchen. So again, play and enjoy your gourmet chicken salad. The Fit to Love podcast show offers you six days a week of helpful content to achieve the happy life you deserve. Movement Mondays and Tasty Tuesdays are weekly video casts, while Wellness Wednesdays, Thoughtful Thursdays, Freedom Fridays, and Sexy Saturdays are audio-only shows themed every week to address your holistic life and needs. If the show inspired you, we would love for you to share it and subscribe. Thank you so much for joining us today. Head on over to fittolove.tv for recaps of every show, resources, and to join the community. That's F-I-T, the number two, L-O-V-E dot TV. Have a fit and fabulous day.